Hello everyone. Uh, today we will talk about healthcare associated infections and the role of hand hygiene to prevent healthcare associated infections. Um, infections acquired in healthcare represent one of the most frequent, if not the most frequent, adverse event in healthcare delivery. WHO estimated that hundreds of millions of patients are affected by this type of infection worldwide every year. And this entails increased mortality, increased costs, as well as, and importantly, a lot of suffering for patients and their families. Hand hygiene has been shown as the single most effective measure to reduce transmission of healthcare associated infections. This is because actually hands are the most common vehicle of pathogens, microorganisms uh, from healthcare workers' hands or from the environment to patients to their skin, but especially to invasive devices, which re represent one of the major risks uh, for patients to acquire a healthcare associated infection. Indeed, hand hygiene can reduce more than 50% of HAIs if well performed. Uh, the World Health Organization launched a program called Clean Care Safer Care in 2005, which is aimed at preventing healthcare associated infections worldwide and has launched a global campaign on hand hygiene on the same year, which continues to go on. And this year, we actually celebrate the 10 years of this global campaign in which almost uh, 30,000 um, healthcare facilities are part showing their commitment to uh, reducing healthcare associated infections through hand hygiene best practices. WHO identified five key moments for hand hygiene performance uh, during healthcare delivery. These are before patient contact, after patient contact, before any aseptic task, or after uh, any exposure risk uh, with biological uh, fluids, and finally, after exposure uh, to the environment leaving, while leaving the patient area. So, um, compliance to these five moments around the world varies significantly, but what is important is to understand that moments one and two uh, actually protect the patient from acquiring a, a pathogen through healthcare workers' hands, whereas moments three, four, and five mainly protect the healthcare worker from acquiring healthcare associated pathogens. It is important to highlight that unfortunately at baseline or in general, compliance with moment one and two is usually much lower than compliance with moment three, four and five, which means that healthcare workers are more prone to, to protect themselves than protecting uh, their patients. Therefore, the message is really to uh, be aware of the risk, uh, be accountable for good practices and safe care uh, while uh, assisting our patients. Many studies have demonstrated over the last years that improving hand hygiene compliance despite of intensity of care and many other obstacles that healthcare workers may encounter in uh, uh, achieving optimal compliance, many studies demonstrated that we can improve significantly uh, hand hygiene compliance and also demonstrate that this is uh, very effective in reducing healthcare associated infections. Finally, I would like to invite everyone to participate in 5th of May 2015, which is the Hand Hygiene Day uh, celebrated by WHO, uh, in which this year we uh, highlight Hand Hygiene as the entrance door 
for strengthening healthcare delivery and uh, healthcare systems worldwide. We propose a number of initiatives, many are um, social media initiatives such as taking a picture, uh, a selfie with a specific hashtag which is uh, safe hands or other activities that you can find on our Clean Care, Safer Care web, web page. Therefore, five moments to achieve hand hygiene best practices. 5th of May, this year, 2005, 10th anniversary of the Hand Hygiene Global Campaign by WHO, Clean Care, Safer Care.